Hello and welcome to Josie's Jungle Room. Today I want to, before I get into all the fabulousness that's going to be in this amazing video that I'm putting on for you guys, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I make a video. So I have here with me today little Z or Zariah. She's the newest baby. I just got her yesterday and you guys saw her box opening or actually Tuesday night. I think I posted the video yesterday or what, whatever. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and on Wednesdays we wear pink. So we're going to start off with that. That is a um, theme hosted by Shara at Reborn Living Dolls. Shara has a beautiful channel, beautiful dolls, beautiful babies, beautiful clothes. She's a beautiful person. Everything about her channel is amazing. And as you can see, little Z has on a lot of pink today. This is actually the outfit that she came on in her came in in her box opening I have changed her a couple times since but I put her back in this outfit because it's so cute and she only had it on for a couple of minutes in the box opening because I took it right off but it's a really cute little outfit it's got this little adorable hat with little bears all over it little pink bears and it has little ears on the little hat it's a little sleeper jammy with little um coverings for the hands and everything she is the most movable baby that I've ever had she is a Levi by Bonnie Brown and her little passy is pink this is a little glow-in-the-dark star passy clip it is so cute it's got a little moon on here I'm gonna go ahead and take it off just to show you guys it is so cute it's got a little yellow and a little orange moon look at isn't that so adorable and it glows in the dark so at night when i turn out all the lights this glows it's so cute just an adorable little passy clip she loves her little passy but like i said she is the most movable baby and i guess she has like little discs or something in her because she just rotates and moves like no baby I've ever seen before. I did bring her to work yesterday and all my co-workers were commenting on her eyebrows, how much they loved her eyebrows. She has really nicely painted eyebrows, really pretty rooted lashes and the painting on her and she just looks so realistic like she's just got her little lip there and she is just sleeping away in her cute little outfit this is not the outfit that I brought her to work in though guys I I dressed her in this pretty little pink outfit that I'm gonna redress her in today but she's just a sweet snuggly little baby and you really have to be careful holding her and moving her around because her head just will rotate but that's just like a real baby you know you have to be really careful moving and holding a real baby because you just never know the way that they're going to move and flop around you know so you you just have to be really careful holding her but she is just so sweet my little z but i'm going to show you the outfit that i'm going to change her into today I'm going to put her in this onesie. It's just got these pretty flowers of pink all over it. And then it's only like 45 degrees here. I live in Minnesota. It's gotten pretty cold. I think it's going to maybe get up into the 60s today. Um, but look at this pretty little pink. It says life is all rainbows and unicorns. Isn't that pretty in this really bright pink color it's a onesie really adorable beautiful bright pink I think that's going to look so pretty on her and then these little striped pants with pink yellow black and blue stripes on them this is actually a size three to six but she, even though she's newborn, she's big. I weighed her on my scale. She is 7.2 pounds. So she's big and solid. So she's a good size little baby. I'm going to put this little pretty bright pink um, 
um, flower headband in her hair and these cute little lacy socks and these cute little booties on her. Look at these adorable little booties. They're the same shade of pink with these little teddy bears on them. Aren't they cute? The teddy bears have little bows on them too. And then she's going to hold this little unicorn. <laughs> Isn't she cute with her little flowery dress? Or I'm sorry, it's not flowery. It's flouncy with these little um, glittery stars on them. So she's going to look cute. This is going to be a case of new doll clothes. And that's a tag put on by JUK Dolls. Because I've never shown this outfit on a baby before. I've had it for a while. And I've been waiting for the right time and the right day to show this outfit on a baby. Because I got this outfit a while ago. And I was like, man, I just love this bright pink. It's so pretty. She is wearing socks um, when it gets cold in the winter, which like I said, it was only like in the um, high 30s, low 40s last night. So she did wear her little socks last night that say baby. Yes, I put socks underneath the sleepers for my babies. As you can hear in my voice, it's still not 100%, but I'm feeling so much better. And this one says hello. So it's hello baby these came in her box opening too so cute and she does like to put her little legs up she likes to do the stanky leg aren't her feet so cute I just love the way her little feet are painted and the way her little legs curl it's just so very realistic because little newborns just love to curl up their little legs when I had her at work yesterday we were so busy oh my goodness it's become the really busy season at work just I mean we're always busy at my job I'm a uh, work with a family pra practice provider at a doctor's office and so you know people always need to get in for this or that but it just seems like well and my provider um double books a lot so we're we're just very busy look at her little hair she's just got this cute little hair I'm gonna brush it in a little bit but she's just so fun this baby is so cute I'm just loving on her but she was just laying there with just her little legs curled like this and I didn't really get much of a chance to snuggle her and see how her head just rolls to the side just like a sleepy little baby but she just looks so real and so comfy cozy with her little legs all curled like this and it just made me feel relaxed just even just looking at her laying there so peacefully while I was so busy at work yesterday you know it's just like okay everything's gonna be all right baby steps to six o'clock because yesterday was my late day I worked late on Tuesdays so it was just a very long day but um little mama was helping me feel relaxed even just looking at her was helping me feel relaxed right little mama she's so so cute and so sweet but yeah um just a busy busy time of year at work a lot going on and I don't know everybody needs something you know everybody always needs something the nice thing about my part of the job though is I'm just the one getting you ready I can I can do things to help get you ready. I ask the questions to get you prepared for somebody who is going to come in, but I can only do so much. I can't prescribe any medication for you. I don't resolve anything really. You know, I can resolve a few things, but the provider is the one that um, takes care of the problem, basically. I'm just setting you up for them to come in. So the responsibility isn't really on my shoulders, you know, um, so it's not super stressful for me. I'm just getting you ready for someone else to come in and help you. So um, I don't know. I, I feel for them, though, you know, because they have so much and people expect your family doctor just to know about every single problem that you have. And it's like, you know, um, they're specialists who are able to help you with XYZ, but they expect the family practice doctor to know everything. And it's like, 
they know a lot about a lot of things, but, oh, little mama has to breathe while I'm getting you dressed, right, babies? Oh, this color looks so beautiful on her. And it's not like I don't know. This is the outfit I put on her to take her to work yesterday, but I love this on her. It is so beautiful. This color is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And I feel like it just looks so beautiful on this baby. Look at that color on her. Oh my goodness, mama. She is so pretty. So beautiful. Yes. She just doesn't want to stretch out this little arm. I know, babies. That's how little ones are. They just don't want to stretch out their little arms. They just want to keep them all bent up. And she's just so relaxed and comfy cozy. Aren't you, little one? Yes, look at her. She's just sleeping through everything. And see how her head just rolls so much? Just like a little one. Just like a sweet little newborn baby. She's just so cute. I can't get over her. She's just so, so cute and so sweet. But yeah, I know I haven't um, been on to tell you guys at all about my trip. And we just had so much fun. Um, we like to do um, a lot of tours of like different museums and stuff and historical things. Um, we went to like uh, Jesse James home um it was actually the home where he was shot i was telling my husband we go to a lot of places where people were assassinated and stuff like we've been to um the spot where um robert kennedy the president was shot in dallas and we've gone to the home where jesse james was shot like and looked at the spot on the wall where he was assassinated and we we went to the um where was the place uh where the Oklahoma City bombings happened um and those uh people passed away um at that federal building and but those things are really um interesting and they always do museums and memorials and stuff and we do like to look at historical um things but a lot of times it's also very sad you know um so we also like to tour homes like we went to Amelia Earhart's home um which was also very interesting and she was a very fun and interesting character um and I bought a book about her life which I started reading which is really, really interesting. Um, Amelia Earhart, if you know anything about her. Look at the way this baby's little toes curl too. Isn't that so cute? I just really love her feet. I kind of hate to put these little, little slippers on her, but they are so adorable. And just the way her little legs curl. This is just how little newborns like to curl their little legs. They're always curled up like this when they're tiny little newborns. Even though she's not tiny, most newborns, you know, healthy newborns that are full, fully formed and everything are about seven pounds, you know, six to seven pounds. Some of my babies were even bigger than that, you guys, but... um my my live biological children but you know seven pounds is a good size baby and this is how they like to do their legs and I just love her her sculpt is so so cute and I you know the Levi sculpt is one that when I first saw I wasn't sure you know how I felt about it but after seeing so many people with them I was like I really really want to have a Levi in my collection and I'm so glad that I have one because she is just so sweet and so so cuddly and I'm gonna do a little something with her hair if I can find my little stuff because she's just got the cutest little soft hair it's partially painted and partially um rooted as well so I like to use this just for me natural hair milk I'm going to spray a little bit of it on my brush, just a little, you know. She's just got a little bit of hair, 
Um, and I'm going to put her a little closer so you guys can see. As you can see, she's got some painted hair in the front. So I don't know if you'd really call this combi hair. Because it's mostly rooted, but a little bit of painted hair there just in the front. Um, so I don't really have to brush it down there. And normally with my um, biological children, I didn't do a lot of brushing of their hair when it was really little like this. Um, or when the babies were really little like this. But just a little bit, you know. I kind of like the wild hair look when they're just tiny like this, but it's kind of fun to do a little brushing too. Just to, plus I like the way that this natural hair milk smells. It smells like my real baby, you know, would smell or like my grandchildren smell because my, um, my son's baby's mother, that's what she uses in their hair. So I can pretend that that's what, you know, or that I'm actually holding my grandchild because that is what their hair smells like or one of the products that she uses in their hair. Oh, so cute. She's just so precious. She is just so precious. And then I'm just going to put this little bow in her hair. I did have to tie the back just so it'll stay nice just a little bow she doesn't like to put bows in my grandbaby's hair whenever I come over or whenever I see them which isn't very often because they live in Texas but whenever I do I like to put bows in their hair because <laughs> I think they're cute she does do barrettes and stuff when they get bigger but when they were little like this she didn't really like to put the bows in their hair but Nana puts the bows because Nana likes the bows isn't that so cute she is just the sweetest, cutest little baby girl. Yes, she is. Look at how precious. You barely see the little pants the way her little legs are, but she just looks so cute to me. So cute and so sweet. Well, I can't remember if I said I was going to feed her a bottle or not. Um, I've got her bottle here already all warmed up ready to feed her but she's tired guys she fell back to sleep you see that she's so sleepy she's not even hungry right now and because of her weight and everything you know the doctor said that if she's sleeping I don't have to wake her up to feed her that it's okay because she's a good solid weight She's been growing at a very good rate and everything. So if she's sleepy and she's not hungry, it's okay. I don't have to wake her up to feed her. So she's just fine. I'm just going to go ahead and let her sleep because she's so tired. She did have a bottle um, about three hours ago. So she's just not hungry right now. I'll let her wait at least another hour before I feed her again. And if I did, I can't remember if I did. I was going to show you guys a bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what? I did say I was going to show you the baby that my coworker gave me for my birthday. So I am going to go ahead and do that. Let me position things differently and I'll show you that baby. Hold on. So sorry, guys. I, I start a video and then I forget what I'm doing. But anyways, this here is Malia. This is the baby that I named after my coworker, and she wanted to say hello just because I haven't shown her for a while. She is a Corito kid. She is one of my favorite 18-inch dolls. She is just beautiful. She's wearing this adorable and gorgeous dress and pretty shoes, and she just wanted to come on and say hello because I named her after the coworker who gave me the next doll that you're going to meet, which is a brand new little baby so this is Malia so she just wanted to sit here next to her sister and be in the video so I put Tony behind her so she will stay there and sit there nicely so she can be in the video too so you can see Malia and Zariah. Zariah is still sleeping holding her sweet little unicorn there and I'm going to show you my new baby. So this is a baby that he's not wearing the um, outfit that he originally came in. And I'll show you the outfit that he originally came in. But my friend Malia 
got me this baby for my birthday. She surprised me with this little baby. So we um sit next to each other at work. She's my best work friend. She's become a really good friend to me in general. And she has really gotten into the dolls too. It's really fun to have a co-worker who also enjoys the baby. She has gotten some beautiful, beautiful reborn dolls herself. Um, she's actually expecting a new one, I think, today to be coming home to her. So we enjoy the hobby together and have been sharing and it's just so much fun. But she ordered me this baby because she knows I was looking at him and like, oh man, I really want this baby. So let me show you. As you can see, he came in this little blanket. This is a full body silicone from AliExpress. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? And I named him Malik. So her name is Malia. So the next closest thing for a boy closest to Malia is Malik. Meet little Malik. Isn't he so cute? He is a full body silicone from AliExpress. Just a cutie. Look at his little mouth. He has a cute little tongue in there. Just a cute little sleeping full body silicone. He is a brother to Cheryl and Daryl. And he is wearing this adorable, cute little um, peachy colored sleeper jammy with a little hat. I'll take it off so you can see. He's an adorable little baldy. Look at how cute. When she told me that she ordered him, I was crying because I was like, oh my gosh, you didn't have to order me anything for my birthday. But she was like, oh no, I know how much you wanted this little guy. And she surprised me with him for my birthday. Isn't he so cute? I'm going to show you guys his little belly. He's just got a chubby little belly. I'm not going to show you his business, but look at his chubby little belly. I just love my little Malik. He is just the cutest little baby. Such an adorable little cutie. So he's a little sweet addition to my little silicone, my little mini silicone collection too. And Malia loves her little brother Malik. Isn't he so cute? I'm going to show you she he came with so he came with this blanket and he came with this little outfit which this outfit when it kind of looks like a girl outfit and he's all boy okay up under here he is all boy you guys and it was really tight on him so he gave this outfit to Kimmy Gibbler okay so she's wearing the outfit that he came in it's a really cute little pajama outfit but it was really snug on him. He was like uncomfortable in the outfit. So he gave it to his sister, Kimmy Gibbler. So she's wearing it. They love each other too. He loves his little sister. And he put on this little peachy pajama outfit. But um, he also came with this bottle, which is kind of big for him. Okay. It's like half the size of his body. So Malia actually gave oh and he also came with this cute little pacifier which is like a little elephant isn't that adorable his mouth is open so he can take the passy but Malia also gave me a little orange pacifier and a little blue pacifier these all came from AliExpress and then she gave me this other little blue pacifier so he's got all kinds of little pacifiers. And then she gave me this little disappearing milk bottle for him. Isn't that cute? Because he's got a little open mouth. He can take a little bottle. And then she gave me a bigger bottle too in case when he grows. This is actually a lip gloss container. But you just put a little downy fabric softener in it. And it looks like it has one of those little... Um, the lip gloss part looks like one of those little colic um, things that you that they put in there, like the Dr. Brown's bottles for um, preventing colic. Isn't that cute? So he has all kinds of bottles and all kinds of passies. He is such a spoiled little boy, my little Malik. But I just love this little boy. And his chubby little belly. Look at that belly. I was like, oh my 
my goodness. He's so cute. And these little bitty silicones are just so fun because they fit in your purse or they fit in your bag. So nice. You can just wrap them up in a little blanket. And I should show you guys his little chunky bottom here because he has a really chunky little can you see how chunky he's just got a soft little cushy little tushy he's just so cute and so soft and so sweet my little malik so i love my little malik my other little birthday boy and he loves his little sister kimmy gibbler and cheryl and daryl all of my little mini silicones are so, so sweet and loved. And they get fed every single day. Yes, they do. I was going to show you guys a couple of other fun things I got for my birthday. Um, this is one of the gifts my husband gave me for my birthday. Another thing I love is fun, beautiful earrings. And my husband got me these gorgeous earrings. These were handmade by um, Native Americans from the um, South Dakota. Aren't these beautiful? I absolutely love them. They have some of my favorite colors of pink and orange and silver. I do more silver than I do gold. So I love these earrings. They are fabulous. So I was super, super excited to get these earrings. And then one other thing, I actually showed this, and this is going to be a show your collections um, from Cena's Dolls, because I'm going to show my whole collection of these. There's only four of them, but my newest one, and you guys have seen it if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, but this is Mr. Pink. This is from when I went to the State Fair. Um, these are alpaca fur plushies. I am obsessed with these, you guys. They are so soft and so sweet. So this is the newest one in my collection that I got for my birthday. A pink little bear. They had all different sizes of these. This was the smallest one um, that was pink that um, I could add to my collection. So sweet and so so cute and so precious. So this is Mr. Pink. This, um, my whole collection. And again, this is show your collections. This is from actually Toya at definitely me. Um, she wanted to see other things you collect and I only have four of them, like I said, but I love alpaca fur, um, plushies. So I have Mr. Pink and then I have Teddy. Teddy, I actually found thrifting. Either it was thrifting or antiquing, but we love to thrift and antique. But this is the only one that I found thrifting or antiquing. So he wasn't as expensive as the other ones, but he is just as beautiful and just as soft. So this is Teddy. So Teddy and Mr. Pink. This is Natasha. This was a Christmas gift. This is a uh, mini alpaca. I got this as a Christmas gift a few years back from my husband. And then the first one that started the whole thing, this is Svetlana. She is a bigger one from the Mall of America, the alpaca connection, an anniversary gift from my husband. Love, love, love Svetlana. She started the whole collection for me. And again, it's a small collection. There's only four, but I am obsessed with these guys. Love these guys. So showing my alpaca fur baby collection. Well, that's it for my little video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm sorry my voice isn't quite up to par. Hopefully it wasn't driving you guys crazy but um yeah I just wanted to come on and say hello to everybody um I'm not working today so I'm hoping to relax other than doing laundry and cooking and my regular Wednesday duties I'm going to be trying to check out some videos and seeing what's going on in the community and I hope everybody's doing well and I hope you have a wonderful fabulous day and we wanted to say Thank you for being a friend. And what else do we want to say, little Malik? What else do we want to say? We wanted to say jungle love to everyone. Have a fabulous rest of your day.